Hello there, my name is Jimmy. In my previous video, I mentioned the main reason I invested in BYD is because of its battery. So in this video, I'm going to details that why BYD is superior than the other battery manufacturers. To understand about battery, first we need to know a little bit about cars or vehicles. In this video, let's just call it a car, right? The chassis of a car is finite meaning to say it has limited space. For anything that you put inside that space, that means that you have less space for other things. Battery being the most important component in EV, it also means that it takes up a larger space. If we have a smaller battery, it will mean that it will store less energy, which indirectly the car will travel lesser distance and require more charging cycle. Now think along the line of your mobile phone. You want your mobile phone to last you the whole entire day and night just before you got tired and go to bed, right? So it's the same thing about EV. You want a battery that would last you just like a normal car would do. So essentially, battery has to meet the following criteria. One, store more energy, which means that it will travel longer distance before the next recharge. Two, lighter, meaning carry less weight, meaning also travel longer distance. And three, quick re recharge. So these industrial standards, we are looking at 20 minutes charge and 80% full kind of a rules. And then fourth, which is most important, safety. Now all these sound logical. And now we start to think why BYD battery is so different from the rest of the uh, car manufacturers, right? So first of all, traditional battery like those used by Tesla are cell pack, cylindrical form. So circle, circle, circle. Those batteries are similar to your laptop batteries. They are being packed together in a square box, but inside the cell, it is round in shape, cylindrical. And because it is round shape, when those batteries are packed, we leave space in between. And for the same reason, because it is cylindrical and has to pack together, you need a battery structures to hold this battery in together into one box. And therefore, the whole entire solutions become very big and bulky. The actual energy storage is only 40% of the total size. Now, what does it mean? It means that if you have a box of this big, right, only 40% of the box is energy storage and the rest is just structures holding the battery together. So with this kind of design, it becomes, you know, the battery becomes overweight and very expensive. With BYD technologies, the batteries are being made rectangular, thin, and slim. They call it the blade batteries, right? So with this new battery technology that BYD has, first of all, the material within that battery has changed. The formula has changed. They call it LFP, stand for lithium iron phosphate. The biggest advantage of this new material is that it allows to store more energy within the same space. Rectangular, thin and slim, meaning to say that you can pack more battery side by side without any space wastage. Meaning to say there are more space available for other things. With BYD, this new design, it proved that it can actually increase the space or rather having more space to be saved up to 50%, which is a huge jump compared to the conventional battery. Now, because of the battery is rectangular, thin and slim, it doesn't require the battery structure as compared to the cylindrical type of batteries. And without that structure, it will also means that the whole entire solutions is lighter, less weight, that is basically a good news because then that will means that the car will travel 
with less weight will carry less weight and to travel a further distance so the next thing that comes to it is that it will save costs and it is cheaper to manufacture. the beauty of this battery is that it has you know with the 10 minutes charge it can go up to 135 kilometers which is to me is really amazing and fast and lastly because of its constructions and the type of material that they use the battery itself is proven to be non-explosive and fire hazard upon accidents now test has actually shown that the traditional uh, EV batteries will catch fire upon punching a hole through it whereas BYD batteries will remain cool so that means to say that this is basically a very safe battery um, in a car which of course coming from a consumer point of view you want to be in a safe car you do not want to burn yourself you know get burned inside the car upon um, accident you know if the battery will explode so you may ask why is the downside I mean I have talked so much about the BYD battery surely there is some downside well yes they are the only downside for BYD battery is that it is lack of the supercharged power like what Tesla will has meaning to say that if you want to accelerate the car you know within that sub 3 second kind of speed well BYD battery does not be able to measure up to that standard uh, yet right but then again it is okay so the BYD battery has actually met the um, following criteria which I mentioned at the beginning of this video is one store more energy which means that you travel longer distance before the next recharge two lighter battery meaning to say that it carry less weight and the car will travel a longer distance number three safe space that will means that you that will allow more space in the car you know instead of occupied by battery now you can have more space you know for drivers and with passengers number four quick re recharge you know with 10 minutes charge you can travel up to 30, 135 kilometers I think that is fairly reasonable and number five safety which the battery so for most people owning an EV is about reliability inexpensive to maintain fast charge or rather charged by normal power you know you, you really do not require a very special charging point to charge those batteries so basically it is a the, the Toyota Toyota type of vehicles that that most people want the BYD battery blade batteries is no longer a prototype it is a finished product it is available as a module in fact the blade battery has already implemented in BYD Hans which basically the car has been exported to Europe and sold to consumers over there so it is a solution that has been proven and been used uh, on the road at the moment now given the fact that um, Toyota and BYD uh, in joint ventures or in collaborations in making EV cars the way I look at it is that um, Toyota may have may adopt the uh, BYD blade battery solutions which has all the advantages that I have mentioned earlier so therefore if Toyota would have used BYD battery then it is basically um, you know a big strong signal um, you know to BYD that the company will have a lot of the upside potentials now at this point we do not know that there's other competitors uh, that may be doing the similar thing as what BYD is doing but assuming that BYD is making such a huge progress you know compared to other vehicle think about it if Volkswagen will come in and adopt the similar solutions then it is really really a big upside potentials for BYD and that's the reason why I would love in fact I am um, invested in BYD uh, you know compared to other EV companies well so with this uh, I will end this video and thank you very much 
If you like the content of this video, please uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channels, and I'll speak to you sometimes. Bye.